the Wisconsin Badgers. Last year was a weird season. Started off the year one and three, and Paul Christ's bunch ended up nine and four. And, you know, you could tell a massive difference between the way that they started and the way that they ended. Uh, the new OC, let's do this. Returning production, not good. I mean, it's 55%. That's number 103 in the country. Uh, defense takes the biggest hit of that. Number 118, so Jim Leonard certainly has his work cut out for him. Uh, offense is number 62. You got 65% coming back. Uh, this team last year was almost exactly what they were supposed to be. Their postgame win expectancy was 8.03 and 3.97. Uh, so 8-4 and four in the regular season, and the postgame win expectancy said it was as much. So the games that they lost, there was really no chance of them winning. In the games that they won, there was really no chance of the other team winning. I mean, it sets up pretty well statistically. Uh, as far as roster strength, I mean, the offense has the majority of the strength this go round, number 28. Now, would it surprise me if that swaps middle of the season or so once the newer guys that are coming in understand Leonard's aggressive system? Uh, wouldn't surprise me at all. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Uh, the offense, I mean, let's start with that. The new OC is Bobby Ingram. Uh, comes over. He, he's got a lot of NFL experience. Uh, you remember how he was, he was going to be the one to get Wisconsin Caleb Williams <laughs> at quarterback? We were going to see a whole new Wisconsin system. Uh, did not turn out to happen, but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, this is, I mean, this is basically what Wisconsin is. They they run the ball, and they are going to continue to do that. Running backs Allen and uh, Malusi combined for 2,083 yards last year and 17 touchdowns. They are going to have another strong offensive line. They got three returning starters. That left side is super strong. The rest of the guys will be able to develop. Paul Christ knows what he's doing with an offensive line. Uh, what can Bobby Ingram do with Graham Mertz? I mean, I think that's the biggest question. He lost 11 interceptions and four fumbles last year, but the worst part was they were number 115 in passing PPA. The offensive line was actually pretty good as far as pass pro. They were number six in have a great allowed. Uh, I mean, you look at these numbers, 101 in PPA per drive, like the rushing success rate was number 40. Passing success rate was number 75. Uh, as far as their explosive play rate, Number 129 out of 130 in the country. I mean, it just no explosive plays, really. So, you know, the this was another one of those teams that didn't run a bunch of plays, tried to be as efficient as possible, uh, limit the number of plays so that the other team doesn't get more opportunities. And that's the way it worked. They were number 126 in total plays per game. Moving over to the defense, I already mentioned number 118 in returning production. Uh, you look at Jim, Lin or Jim Leonard, like he's he's always lights out. But what do you do with only 45% returning production? Uh, it may take a little bit to get the defense to gel this year. You got four defensive back transfers coming in. There's only seven plays or seven players that have 158 plus snaps. You've only got four with 300 plus that were already in Leonard's system. So it may take a little bit of time for them to understand exactly what's going on here. But the schedule sets up brilliantly uh, before Ohio State comes in in week four. I mean, you got Illinois State, Washington State, New Mexico State. Like you should be able to hammer those teams and get that defense really gelled by the time the Buckeyes come in, um, or before you go to the Buckeyes. Uh, I'm, I guess, like the secondary has got to figure out the attacking scheme. Defensive line along uh, linebacker should be pretty strong this year. Uh, you know, we'll we'll see exactly what happens here. Uh, as far as the schedule goes, I mean, they are projected favorites in ten games. Their win total sits at eight and a half. It's juiced to the over at minus one thirty five. They are plus 165 to win the division. And and that does make sense. That does make sense to me. Uh, during the first four games last year, Graham Mertz, uh, just awful. Number 117 in total QBR. In the final eight games, they were number 29, or he was number 29. Uh, the biggest issue that they're going to have this year as far as that offense goes, only four players caught more than eight passes, and three of them are gone. So you've got a whole new slew of receivers this year, both at tight end, et cetera. I'm, I'm curious what, what this is going to look like because hiring Ingram, it appears that you want to somewhat modernize this offense, and that may take a little bit of time. Now, again, schedule sets up really well early on with some pretty easy wins, and that yes, that includes Washington State. I know that's going to be a, you know, a styles make fights kind of a game. But regardless, uh, I, the turnovers last year, they were plus 10 
in their wins and minus nine in the losses. And and do not go back and watch that Notre Dame film. Oh, in four losses last year against, and these were top 50 yards per rush defenses, uh, they averaged 2.59 yards per rush on 140 rushing attempts. In their nine wins, they averaged 5.57 yards per rush on 427 runs. They eventually just went away from Graham Mertz throwing the ball. Like, it was a fairly predictable offense, but they ran up against teams that could not stop them no matter what. Will they be able to do that again this year? Because you do have five teams that are uh, on the schedule that had top 50 yards per rush defenses. It, we'll see. We'll see. I've I've got this bunch going 9-3. and three. It, it seems like Paul Christ always goes 9-3, and three, regardless of what else is happening. Uh, he This is a strong football team. I kind of expect them to do the exact same thing that they've been doing. Uh, go 9-3. and three. I don't know that I expect Graham Mertz to improve a ton. And even if he does, I don't know who he's going to throw the ball to. I think Wisconsin could probably end up winning this division. But again, do they have a real shot at winning the Big Ten title? Probably not. But I, I'm curious to see what Bobby Ingram does. I want to see what this team develops as through the first three weeks. Uh, again, number 103 in returning production, but you've got three weeks to really be able to figure this thing out before you play against Ohio State. Uh, other than that, the schedule is feasible. They, they can make it work. So I'm I'm curious. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.